What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I'm super psyched to be showing you a brand new product that was sent to me from Rode and it is the Wireless Go compact wireless microphone system. Thank you Rode for sending this out to me to check out and review for you guys out there. So this product retails for $200. It's a super ultra compact system, probably one of the smallest ones I've seen, that actually has pretty decent audio and the transmitter actually has a built-in microphone because, and you can, as you can see, I'm using it right now. So all of the audio that you'll be hearing in this review will have been recorded with the onboard microphone that's on the transmitter itself. I'll give you guys some sample audio of what it sounds like to use a lapel mic plugged into it as well. But just so you know, every single piece of audio will have been recorded using the microphone. So I'm gonna give you guys the unboxing, show you what incl comes included in the package. I'll give you guys uh, some close-up details of the transmitter and the receiver as well, show you all the buttons and ports. And then I'll give you my final thoughts as well as some sample audio from the uh, Wireless Go system. So without further ado, let's get to the review. First thing included in the box is two USB Type-C charging cables. So this is what you'll use to charge each uh, device, the transmitter and the receiver. It's a USB, regular USB on one end and USB Type-C on the other end. After that is two clip-on windshields, and these are things that you'll use if you're gonna be recording outside in windy, noisy conditions. This will kind of help control that wind noise, and it does include two of them in case you lose one of them. Uh, they have a backup one included inside the box for it. After that, we have a nice soft travel pouch, and actually everything that is in the box can fit inside this pouch. It has a Velcro enclosure on there, and like I said, everything pretty much pops up into there, and you can throw this in your bag, your backpack, whatever it is, your camera gear bag with you, and everything that you'll need to have will be in this pouch. After that, of course, we have the instruction manual with some quick start guide information to get you going. Next, we have the SC2 TRS cable. This is what you'll use to connect the receiver to your camera. And of course, we have the transmitter and receiver units themselves, and now let's take a closer look at each of them. So these units are absolutely tiny. They weigh about 31 grams each. They're super lightweight and they're easy to keep in your pocket or to use with the belt clip because they'll both have built-in belt clips, which is pretty nice. The clip on the receiver double as a cold shoe mount, which is pretty cool. So you can pop it on the top of your camera very easily, or you can clip it to any other areas like a strap or something like that to keep, a, keep it around and where you can plug it into your camera. And speaking of the receiver, let's check out some of the ports and buttons and, and the display as well. So when it comes to ports on there, we have the TRS audio output that's used to connect uh, to your camera uh, or the recorder if you're using a recorder with it. And so this puts out a, a multi-mono signal. And, uh, besides that, we have another, we have a USB charging cable port. And so this is what you'll use to charge it up. And the battery on both of these units will last seven hours, which is very good. Uh, so as far as buttons go, we have the power button, we have the pair button. Uh, not that you would have to use that. It's, it comes out of the box paired already. So you don't really have to worry about that. Then we have a DB pad button to cycle through the different output levels. So it can go from zero decibels, negative six decibels, and 12 decibels, or negative 12, I'm sorry, to set according to whatever device you're recording the audio on. So you can adjust that. And whatever you set it to, it'll stay on that setting even after you power it down, which is pretty cool. So when it comes to the display, on the display it shows us the receiver and transmitter battery status. It'll show you the, the screen brightness. And if you press the power button, you can go between bright slash dim mode using that on there. It also has a level meter, which is actually kind of nice because some cameras don't even feature a level meter, but you can have this on top of your camera or wherever, and you can keep tabs on the, how the levels are looking on your audio. Uh, we also have the audio output level DB option that I mentioned earlier. So whether it's six, negative six, or zero, negative six, or negative 12, it'll show you what that set is, what that's set to. And then we have the pairing status and the signal strength bar. And so these will actually work pretty, pretty well, like uh, 70 meters in range. So you can get really far from each other and it should still connect just fine. So let's take a closer look at the transmitter. So on the transmitter, the only button we have is the power button. And when it comes to ports, we have the mic input. So this is what you'd use a uh, like a lapel mic with if you don't want to use the onboard omnidirectional mic like I'm using right now. Uh, and I'll give you a sample audio, like I said, of what that sounds like when you want to use a lapel mic with it. Uh, the port, by the way, also uh, supplies 2.8 volt uh, plug-in power if you're using a microphone that does require that. The other port is uh, the USB Type-C charging port. And uh, like I already mentioned, it has seven, seven hours of battery life, but you can also use uh, a, a backup battery. If you want to plug a backup battery into this, to keep it charged up while you're using it in case it does go completely out of battery life. That is an option you have as well. Um, the lack of a removable battery is kind of a bummer, so you can't like just swap it out, but the fact that you have the capability to use a backup battery with it is kind of cool and that would that would probably come in handy if that does happen to you. But like I mentioned, seven hours of battery life is, is really, really good for something this size. Uh, and the LED lights on here also will show you when it's powered on and to let you know that it is linked to the receiver. Okay, so now let me give you some sample audio with the lapel mic. 
Okay guys, so this is what the audio sounds like when it's actually clipped to the collar of a shirt. So if you have a t-shirt, there's not only so many ways you can do this, and so you probably wanna clip it on the inside, and it is touching my skin, and you're gonna hear, you will, you will hear some rubbing noise if you're gonna be moving around with it in, tucked into your shirt like this. I think more often than not, you're probably gonna to want to either have a jacket on or like a polo to where you can kinda of clip it in the collar, and that will perform better. It's like, like the way I had in the intro, I had my jacket on, that's what the, the microphone was attached to there. And actually all of my audio that you heard in this video, that's how I had it. I had it clipped to like a jacket, and that's basically better better situation for having cleaner audio. So let me go ahead and switch over and put the lapel mic in, and then I'll show you what that sounds like. So this is what it sounds like when you have a lapel mic plugged in. Obviously you wanna play with the audio settings on the camera and on, on the unit itself, on the receiver, because you can adjust that dB pad. So I think right now I have it on negative six dB, and I also have the camera on negative six dB as far as levels go. So I think it, it does a pretty good job even when you wanna use a lapel mic with it. If you're having a t-shirt like this, I would prefer to have it set up like this. Um, but like I said, if they have a jacket or some other type of clothing you can clip it to, that's also another option. But there are going to be many times when you're using the system where you may want to hide the microphone. A lapel mic is going to make that much easier, uh, especially if they're wearing like a suit or a jacket or a, a, a button-up shirt or things like that. It's easier to kind of sneak around a lapel mic as it is to try to clip that larger transmitter somewhere on that person to where it's not super obvious that that's what you're using to pick up the audio. So as far as my final thoughts on the wireless go system from Rode, I'm actually very impressed with this system. Uh, the fact that it retails for $200, I think it's a really good entry level system for those of you that wanna step up your audio game and maybe you don't wanna spend $600 to $1,000 on, on really good quality audio or, or professional audio equipment, this is a really good place to start. And especially the fact that it has a built-in microphone that is pretty decent, um, I think that may, makes it even more beneficial and easier because you don't have to have a lot of extra pieces with you. So if you guys are looking for something that's more affordable, like than I said, the more expensive ones. I'll put a link down below in the description to make that really easy for you to find if you're wanting to purchase this for yourself. And also, if you want to step up your audio game when it comes to your smartphone devices, I'll be doing a separate video on how to set this up and use this with an iPhone. And you can also use those steps to use it with any other smartphone device, whether it's an Android or whatever it is. And uh, for those of you, because a lot of those, those devices, those smartphones have great cameras, but the one thing they usually lack is good audio. And so this is something that will allow you to get kind of further away from your, your smartphone to still shoot really great uh, footage and video, but give you really good audio as well. So I'll have a video on that coming a little bit, uh, a little bit later. So those are my final thoughts on the wireless go system from Rode. So that's it for me today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you want to check out some of my other videos, I got two clips right here. You can click on, if you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you click on my face and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my future views as they get dropped on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.